I do not want to cover the past. I do not want to go into uh, the past because the past is a sordid past. It's a bad past, it's a terrible past. I don't want to say what impediments were placed for us to come to a, an understanding between East and Pakistan after the elections. We are not going to. We are not going to ask for clemency. And that's his position still, is it? Yes, yes. And that's your position? That's my position. My position is because I respect my husband. And I know he's an innocent man. He's a great leader. He's going to go down in history. The man who is, uh, you know, planning all these attacks from, from remote control and who is operating uh, in a closed circuit conspiracy is somebody where the long arm of the law cannot reach. And eventually I was convinced that it is Mr. Bhutto. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Namaduhu wa nasalli ala rasulah al-Kareem. There were seven judges, and it is entirely up to them to consider it and to answer the, uh, the judgment according to their conscience and according to their thoughts. In fact, it shows how independent the judiciary is. He knows that eight people burnt themselves to death. Why? Out of frustration that they could not help their chairman to come out of jail. Our message to General Zia is that release my father and hold free election and let the people decide the fate of the country. And if that's the case, then there will be no reprisals, there will be no revenge. In that case, we were not going to do anything. But if he is going to go ahead with the hanging, then we are going to take revenge. Not only me and my brother, but all, all the, the sons of my father. We do not want to see a civil war, and this can all be avoided if General Zia admits to the facts that the case is, is, is a, this case is a trumped-up case, and he releases my father and holds free elections. <laughs> 